We have a booth here that is a 10 by 10 request for somebody that has a ton of kiosks. And one of my favorite layouts is like an L-shaped booth, you know, that catches the eye of a customer coming this way and the eye of a customer coming this way because typically you'd have some kind of branding up here on the top of the A-frame. The wall of A-frames, that always looks really clean. So this particular customer does candles. So knowing that they do candles, right? Like A-frames are super important. Now, if you're looking to do something where you've got like more, a small point of purchase place, you could use kind of like the Pierre 38. You know, it's more of like a plinth. I do like to use this more towards the front of the booth because it's like a grabber piece. So you, know, you can put like your little holiday specials on there. I love to put a sign there. Something like your kits, right? Like I've got three for one, your deals there, your grabbers, your testers would be a great spot for this. I do like using the small paper on top of a Pier 38 because it's really good visibility and you can always put something like that in the corner. Definitely think this is a little bit um, crowded, but it is a 10 by 10 space. So while it might feel a little bit crowded here, you could actually do something like this. Totally cool. Asking specifically like, hey, I want like um, a pass-through unit, something that can stand in the middle of my booth. So you could replace frames, which is quite a bit of wood and material. You could replace something like this a collection where we'll put like the hidden storage underneath and a little bit of sun grabber attention right at the front all sides dead on here collection combos on the side Ooh, even like something like this 